Welcome back, Tiger fans. Brent Abraham here with Coach Thacker. We are sorry we were, we were unable to get a uh, Whitwell Pizza pregame show for you guys. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. But the uh, pregame show and starting lineups would have been brought to you by Whitwell Pizza. Whitwell Pizza, more than just great pizza. Rainy night here, Coach. Uh, had a little bit of about a 20-minute rain delay. You know, 720 here, about to get kicked off. Whitwell set to receive the ball. We'll do a little bit of that pregame show now, Coach. What do you think is going to be one of those A. Smith hardware keys of the game? We'll got to be ball control, Brandon. When it's wet, sloppy weather, we got to take care of it. Great kick right there by the kid from Bledsoe County. And we will take over at our own 25 yard line, 20 yard line. Yeah, Coach, I agree. We got to. I know I feel like we talk about it each week with the Smith Ace Hardware big keys of the game, but it's we got to stick to the basics. You know, do what we have to do. We need to really, I think, we really need to control the ball, take care of it. You know, last week we had a few fumbles against Davidson Academy, a few you know drop balls that we end up picking up. But weather like this, we got to make sure not to do that tonight. Yeah, we got got to control the ball, and we got to keep falling forward and moving forward. Uh, we got to get back to our yards per carry being four or five yards to help us out because I don't think we're going to be throwing the ball tonight, us or Bledsoe County. It's just that's kind of the hand we were dealt. So we'll see what we come out as a Tiger offense here. Yes, sir, coach. And the starting lineups the same as last week: Dawson Holloway in at quarterback. You know, Ingras is still in the back in the backfield. First and ten here. Run up the middle to the right. He finds a hole. It's number seven, Cody and Grossi. Great run right there. It's kind of start we need. Let's see if we can keep it going from there. And, Coach, it's a broken record, but every time we talk about it, every time these Tigers fall forward, we get that extra yard or two. It works out for us. And Grossi fell forward there. Got us how tall he is. He got us an extra yardage. Yes. <laughs> Got you know we got to do what we can and that's that's our bread and butter and like you said earlier Brandon it's a broken record we just got to keep beating that record until we can get some W's out of it. And you were joking with Coach Helton after last week's game how he punted, how he threw the ball downfield as we get stopped at the line of scrimmage there looks maybe be a loss of one or two. We, we joked about you know Coach Helton throwing the ball getting a little bit out of his comfort zone. I don't think we're gonna see any throws tonight, Coach. No, I say this is the. Uh, this is exactly what Coach Helton wanted. He's kind of an old school mentality. He likes this, you know, muddy, rainy area, and he kind of thinks it plays into our uh, third, our uh, favor. It'll be about third and six here. Another run up the middle. Bounces off a tackle, but it gets swarmed by the Warriors. Yeah, they're getting great penetration on us. We're, they're almost putting more people than we can get in there. Uh, we've got to do a better job. Bledsoe's got some big kids that we've got to do something with, that's for sure. And so that'll be fourth down here for the Tigers. Not the ideal start to the game, but I think everyone here tonight's a little bit out of their comfort zone, including ourselves with the uh, delayed game, the way the rain weather's been. Cleared up now, though, Coach, so it should be a good night for some football. Yes. We punt it. Number 16 and wide there. Flag on the play. Where that's thrown, it's going to be a hold or a block in the back right there. I crack him up further. I'm really kind of surprised, Brandon. They fielded that punt. It was kind of a it skipped off the ground kind of hard. It's usually what you see a fumble wise. So, mm -hmm. kid kind of surprised me there. I was saying, it kind of looked like, too, when he caught it, I, I was expecting him to drop it. May have dropped it in his hands for a little bit, but nothing fumble. He, I was impressed with the way he took it, but he kind of ran up the field slow and then started running east and west instead of north and south, really, other than the holding penalty helped us out there. Yes. Sometimes you see young players do that. They think they see a hole on the right side, try and make a little something out of nothing. Instead of getting that extra four or five yards, they roll right, take 10 seconds off the clock, and get tackled the same, same yard line. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. You know, we got to go north south because we're not going to beat anybody east west. Right, hand off up the middle here for Bradley or Bledsoe County. Gain of about two or three. Tigers come into tonight's game one and two after last week's loss at Davidson Academy, where coach we probably saw the uh, most out there offense that we're probably going to see all year. We're not going to see much offense that's going to be you know doing the screen passes or the short passes or 
really a quarterback that can do it all. Yeah, that five wide kind of bubble screen, dink and dunk, we won't see again to Columbia Academy is what Coach Helton was telling me this week. Um, good to see us. We might run into him in the playoffs, but starting next week when we hit district games, it's going to be back to kind of what you're seeing tonight. Smith with a big run right there for Bledsoe. There is a flag on the play. Maybe a holding call. Coach, that's going to be one of those that, uh, if we're lucky, we'll, uh, you know, every time they get big plays, like it happened a few weeks ago against Grundy County, every, every, the few plays that Grundy County got off that were good got brought back with penalties. So hopefully the uh, Warriors hurt themselves tonight and help us out. Yeah, holding call right there on Bledsoe County. The one thing you kind of got to worry about is, looks like Bledsoe's watched that Sequatchie film and that motion and kind of got us to the corner here. You know, we'll take it with a hold, but uh, that kind of worries me that he got that far and got that got almost pretty quick. It's one of those, Coach. You know, hopefully this can work out in our favor where the uh, defensive coordinator sees what was wrong there and fixes that there so it doesn't happen again. And with the penalty, that doesn't even really hurt us. Let's see here. Shotgun. Handoff off the middle. This time hit at the line, then taken down by Teddy Tanner Franca. That's Dodd, number two for Bledsoe. He's kind of like their version, of, our version of Jake Sarton. Big bruising kid, good sized kid for them. Uh, good pursuit, good hit by Teddy right there. Way to come up and kind of lay the lick. That's what we need. It's going to be third and long. Hopefully we can do something with this. You're right, Coach, and I think we're in the type of field position, too, where we might get a little lucky. The uh, you know, right about midfield, hold them here. It might be four down territory. They go for it here. We get the ball, you know, around midfield. I think that would be a win for Coach Helton. Yeah, I'm sure he would take that any day of the week. we got a pass and play here, rolling out right. Deep pass. Uh, incomplete. That's good coverage right there by number 22, Trace Condra. Um, Trace is a basketball player. Looked like one right there, kind of boxed out the receiver and jumped with him, and we'll take right there. We'll take an incomplete pass and should see a punt here from Bledsoe. You're right, Coach. It's kind of like what we talked about with uh, when we punted it. You know, with the way these weather conditions are, maybe the snap gets a little out of there. The punter can't control it. Or in our sake, we got to be careful of returning the punt, making sure we catch it before we start heading upfield. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be an ace hardware key to the game all night long. Let's see what the call is here by the refs. Got a false start on Bledsoe County. Keep backing them up. Keep backing them up all the way across. But we'll take it. I say we'll take it, Coach. We've uh, d discussed, and it's one of those Smith Ace hardware key to the game. We talked a couple of weeks ago about penalties. Coach Helton has a very disciplined team, and it's like we talked, you know, off air about Coach Helton's background. He's not going to take a penalty penalty led team. No. Kid from Bledsoe has a great leg right there. Gracia on the return. Um, I hate to say it, but it's one area that we're kind of we're kind of behind in is our punt return game. We just never been able to get it and do anything with it. So, I mean, maybe we need to kind of shore that up before we hit district next week against Lookout Valley. But uh, good return by Grossi, and we're going to start on the 20 yard line again. Yeah, coach, I think you're right. And what has helped us and hasn't helped us is last tonight and then last week, both kickers, punters, and all that were uh, very, I mean, Kid has a boot tonight. Last week, Kid had a leg on him. So, you know, you don't get these uh, you get these long punts. Probably puts our uh, return team in the uncomfortable zone. Yes. Yeah, we, we got to definitely flip flip the field right here. And at least if we don't score, get a little more manageable spot. Hand off to the left side. Good run right there. Looks to be good enough for a Valley View first down. Yeah, it's a great run right there by Ingracia. We'll take it right there. Um, looks like Bledsoe tried to blitz up the middle right there. I don't know if they may have saw something on film or not, but luckily for us, uh, they uh, guessed the wrong hole. Yeah, yeah, Coach, you're right. That's good for the first Valley View first down of the night. And it's like you said, Coach, to start this drive before that run, we really need to make sure we get – you know, better field position, you know, even if we only get another one or two more first downs, but if we punt it, we get them starting in their own side of the field, deep in their 20. 
That's going to work out in our favor down the line. Inside a handoff right there. I believe that's in that's Mr. Mahone on our run. Um, trying to get some more, a little bit more of that thunder in us. And Grassi's kind of feeling the lightning roll for us. Uh, I wonder when we might see number 22, Trace Condra. Um, I know he's on defense, but I'm wondering if we'll see him here on offense here soon. I think you're right, Coach. I think uh, with an injury like that, you know, Coach Helen's going to ease him in on the defensive side. We have plenty of we have plenty of uh, horse in our backfield that can run the ball defensively. You know, I think we need him a little bit more taken down behind the line of scrimmage there. But I think if we end up needing him, I think Coach Helton won't be afraid to put him back there in the backfield. Yep. Coach Helton had a good idea right there. He backed Holloway up into the shotgun and got Ingracia in space. Um, Ingracia just couldn't get to the corner. And I hate to say it, but if 21 Smith for Bledsoe doesn't make that tackle, Cody may still be running. Mm -hmm. But a huge third down for us right here. I think you're right. Just kind of one of those if we can get close to the first down, Coach Helton, you know, might have some tricks up his sleeve or maybe consider going for it. But right here, we need to get some sort of yardage to get better field position for us. And instead, we're going to get tackled Good right run at the line. by Mahone right there. Just tried to make something out of nothing. And uh, Bledsoe just stuffed us right there. So it looks like it's going to bring up another punting situation. Um, let's see our punt team coming in there. And, uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, Cody will get us a good punt right here and flip the field. I think you're right, Coach. I mean, every little bit counts. If we can get a good punt here, get Bledsoe County backed up, get another three and out, get us a little bit better field position than in our own red zone. Ooh. Yeah, and Cody Cody got that one off side of his foot a little bit. Bledsoe's going to have the ball right at the 50-yard line, so not really what we were looking for there, but uh, not like tonight. You really don't know what you're going to get, so I guess we'll take it. You said, Coach, you're right. It's, tonight's one of those nights where it's kind of a wild card. You, uh, What you get is what you're going to take. Hopefully it works out in our favor because the way the weather is, that ball is going to be bouncing. It's only a matter of time before we see uh, – you know, a fumble here, or a bad pass, or a mishandled snap. Yeah, it's, it, it's inevitable, Brandon. And, you know, if you're a coach, you just kind of got to say, if it happens, dig your head in and go. Because they're going to have one there. Uh, hand off up the middle here. Finds a hole, gets tackled about gain of seven yards on the play. It's number one goer for Bledsoe County right there. Good tackle by Jake Sarton. Um, one thing kind of worries me is Bledsoe's getting it and they're getting there quick. Bledsoe got a little no huddle going right here. I think that's one thing they might have seen on the film that messed with our defense a little bit last week. Nice little run there by that running back for Bledsoe County. Had a nice little spin move. Looked a little bit like their uh, Braxton Miller from the other night, Coach. Yes. Yeah, yeah got, a lot of, got a little spunk in him. Number one, we said same numbers, Braxton Miller for Ohio State. Looks like his athlete just like him too. Could spell trouble for us if we can't contain him. First and down here, quick pass. Oh, that's kind of like what we talked about in the second goal, Brandon. Got to concentrate on a night like tonight. Great throw by the quarterback. and hit him between the one and the five, and luckily for us, he didn't get it. Yeah, Coach, that's one of those, if you're the uh, coach for the Warriors, you're, uh, you can un kind of understand, you know, it's ball slippery, it's a little bit harder to catch, but at the same time, those are plays you got to make, especially, you know, every, both teams are going to be looking to run. If you get a chance to get a good yardage on a pass play, you got to take advantage of it. Yeah, we'll take whatever we can get, that's for sure. Bledsoe is driving down the field on us right now. Yeah, hopefully that can uh, kill their momentum, but it doesn't look like it. That's number 21, Caleb Smith for Bledsoe. And uh, Jake Sark don't grab his ankle. I hate to say it, but he may have been right there in the end zone because there was a huge hole in our defense right there. I think tonight's another night, Coach, where uh, Sarton's going to need to step up big. He was really kind of seeing like the uh, – Guy that stepped up the most last week in Stevenson Academy had most of the yardage, a couple of huge tackles there on the defensive side. I think he's going to need to step up again tonight, coach, be that great leader for us. Yeah, we got to have Jake. If not, it's going to be a long night for the Tigers. Hand off off the middle, bangs it close to the first. Inside down. run. I think he's going to be short. It's going to bring up fourth down and 
two to three, it looks like. We'll see the spot. And you like, wonder, Brandon, with the the kid's got a leg on him, do they kick it? But it doesn't look like it. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too early in the game. Plenty of time left. You don't want to let Mother Nature just, just uh, decide the outcome. Man. And he broke about five tackles on that play, Coach. Yeah, it looks like the ball's down the nine-yard line, Brandon, and unfortunately, he just ran it right down the middle. And you would think on fourth down we'd be looking for that, but unfortunately, we weren't. He just ran over a handful of Tiger tacklers out there, Coach. That's one thing Coach Hilton's not going to be happy about is missed tackles. Hopefully that kid's all right. He got kind of flipped there, number one. That's eight, or sorry, number 53, Bull Baker coming in there. And Bull did kind of what you're talking to do. The kid's in there and trying to flip him, and that's kind of what happened. So it's going to be second goal from around the 10. I think, Coach, another Smith Ace hardware key to the game might be Bull Baker tonight. We've talked about it the last few weeks. Name like Bull Baker, you need to be hitting hard, making a name for yourself, I think. The way this game's planned out, if he can, you know, push that offensive line backwards, it'd be good for us. Fumble on the play, and I think we have it, Brandon. The kids are pointing that way. We'll see. Let's see. Referees, our ball. All I don't right. Think number two ever had it. Looks like a good, good handoff from the quarterback, and number two just couldn't get his hands on it. Like we said, Brandon. We'll take a fumble like that tonight, especially that close to the end zone. You're right, Coach. Naturally, you'd like to get better field position starting off, but I'll take this deep in our own end zone, keeping the score 0-0 zero, zero than what it could have been, Coach. But also, it's one of those, if you're Coach Elton, you know, you're happy you pick, recover that fumble, but you got to be careful holding the ball here, too. We don't want to give it right back to him. Flag on the play. It's probably going to be a hold right there from where it come from. Um, so that's going to give us probably first and half the distance to the goal. It's going to put us on around the three yard line. This is one of those situations, Coach, too, where I think uh, we just play play it safe, run the ball, see if we can get out of here. If not, punt the ball, and hopefully we can stop them next time. But if I'm Coach Elton or this Tiger defense, we got a lot of improvements to make. Yes, we do. And Brandon, actually, that was a what was called a chop block or a block below the waist. Um, still going to be the same penalty. You can only go half the distance because where we are. So it's going to be first and probably around 13 yards once they finally get it marked off. So one thing, Coach, we talked about it before the game, but it's happening now is we haven't had a break yet. No timeouts, no nothing been running the play. We have about two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Feels like this quarter's kind of flown by. Yeah, I mean, we've just got to – you and I kind of talked off air. It's probably not going to be a whole lot of passing tonight. I mean, Bledsoe's kind of give that look once or twice, and, or twice, and we've not – I don't expect us to pass. But, you know, it's going to be rolling there. I think it'll be one of the uh, keys to the game for later in the game. Good Huge run, hole up the middle. That's Clay Mahone. Go, Clay. He's at the 40. Oh. Ooh, brought down hard at the 45 yard line, but he jumps right back up. That's a great run out of Clay Mahone. We've kind of been waiting on him to break out ever since Grundy County, and maybe that's his performance. And that's good for your second Valley View first down of the game, Coach. And he had that nice cut. He could have been brought down about the 30. Instead, made that nice cut, got an extra 15 yards. And that that's huge there for the Tigers. That's what we needed. Now we got the field position in our favor. Uh, Brandon, I think we have a weather delay again here. I just saw the um, Grundy County, or sorry, Bledsoe County's athletic director, Jason Real, used to be their head coach. I saw him run on the field right there. And I see the officials, I believe, we're going back to the locker room due to weather. All right, Coach. Hopefully this is just going to be a quick little 30-minute uh, break here. Hopefully we get the game rolling in 30 minutes. We'll keep you updated here on KWN TV. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back in just a few minutes.